Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hi, Oscar. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? How do you feel? What about your weekend? How was it? It was great. It was great. Did you go out? No, but it was relaxing. Excellent. Okay, perfect. And you, Oscar? Ah, uh, so so relax. Relaxing as well. Okay, perfect. And what about today? How was it? Stressful. <laughs> Stressful? Okay. All right. So, well, I'm sharing the, the link for the class just in case you don't have it. Let me send it also to WhatsApp. Um, so you can open it. Okay. All right, guys. So we are going to start with today's class. And well, we have different things to cover today. All right. So good evening, Maribel. Well. Hello, Rosibel. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel? I'm, I'm okay, teacher. You're okay. All right. Okay. So, guys, we are going to start with the following, and I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, okay? So, today, we are going to base our class in the present continuous, okay? So, let's see. What are they doing? According to this picture, what are they doing? Scooby Doo. Yeah, and what are they doing, Giovanni? What are they doing? They are they are running. They are running. Very good. Yes. Good evening, Noemi. So, what are they doing? The second picture. They are. They are dancing. They are dancing. They are dancing. What about number three? What are they doing? They are eating. They are eating. They are eating. And what about she? What is she doing? She's singing. She's singing. She's singing. But look at the at the at the movements with her hands. How do you call this action? What is this? So that in English is clap. So she is clapping. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, she's, okay. she's clapping. Okay. What about this one? What is he doing? Look at that at the hand. If you do this, what are you doing? Saludando. Saludando. All right. So in this case, he is waving. Great. Yes, okay. Like doing like this with your hand is waving. So you are saludando, okay. So what is she doing? Mm -hmm. What is she doing? She's crying. She is crying. And what is he doing? He's jumping. He's jumping, okay. And what is he doing? Mm -hmm. So this verb is licking. Yes, it's true, licking. Yes, licking, okay. All right, so let me see the last, the last two. What is he doing? Mm -hmm. Look at him. What is he doing? Está difícil. Es muy pispireto. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Yo sé, pero no lo recuerdo. Okay, closing his eyes. Uh, okay, Carlos. So this one is. Blinking, parpadeando, yeah. okay. parpadear, okay, yes, okay, and what is she doing, the last one, this one? Mm -hmm. Inclinarse. She is ovating. 
All right. Uh, well, the correct, I would say, word is or a verb bowing. is bowing. Yes. Como inclinarse, hacerle así como, como le está haciendo ella, es bow. Ok. Los japoneses, ellos saludan así. Bowing. Right. So that is the action. That is the name of that action. Bowing. Ok. Inclinarse. Bowing. Yeah. So we're going to start with today's class, guys. So we have different things I was telling your partners. So first of all, we are going to start with the warm map. We already have it, right? So we are going to also continue describing future events with the present continues, the one that we studied on Friday, but today we are going to finish with that. We also have quizzes. We have a lot of speaking, okay? And we have the wrap up. We also have a quizzes about listening and, and also grammar, okay? So we are going to start by asking you three questions, okay? Let me ask, uh, Noemi, how many adults do you have in your family? I have five adults in my family. Okay, repeat after me and say adults. Adults, adults. All right, so what about you, Giovanni? How many adults do you have in your family? Uh, how many adults? Yes. La pregunta es, ¿cuántos adultos hay en, en familia? In your family. Uh -huh. In my family. Yes. Five adults, five Excellent. children. <laughs> oh, very good. So your, your family is kind of big, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Kevin, what about in your family? How many adults do you have? Uh, my family adults is okay, adults. six adults. Six adults. Okay. And six. you, Amanda, how many adults do you have in your family? There are three adults in my family. Excellent. Do you have any siblings? Do you have any siblings? Any siblings right here? Do you know what, what is a mean sibling? Yes, very good. So siblings, guys, means sisters hermanos. and brothers. Yes, hermanos y hermanas. Okay, el, el nombre general para hermanos, no definiendo género, es siblings. Okay. So if I ask you, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have three siblings. I have one brother and two sisters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in this case, si usted tiene tres hermanos, puede decir, I have three siblings. Pero si usted quiere decir que tiene dos hermanas y un hermano, son tres, pero tiene dos hermanas y un hermano, entonces sí especifica. All right. I have one brother and two sisters but I have three siblings, yeah? So how many siblings do you have, Kevin? I have three brothers and one sister. Perfect, okay. And you, Amanda, how many siblings do you have? I have two siblings, okay. one sister and one brother. Perfect. Yes, excellent. What about you? Let me see. Eh, Rosibel, how many siblings do you have? I have one daughter, uh, one sister. Sorry. One sister, okay, perfect. One mm -hmm. Okay, Andrea Lisbeth, how many siblings do you have? I have two brothers. Two brothers, okay, excellent. And you, Janet, how many siblings do you have, Janet? I have one sister and one brother. Excellent. And you, Noemi, how many siblings do you have? I have two brothers and two sisters. Excellent. And what about you, Carlos? How many siblings do you have? Just two. Two. All right. Thank you. Giovanni, which do you prefer, day or night? Oh. <laughs> night. Night. Okay. I prefer night. Why? Why do you prefer night? The party. 
because of the parties. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. Carlos okay. Amaya me, me indujo a eso. <laughs> okay, so what about you? Okay, so what about you, Ronald? Uh, which do you prefer, day or night? Uh, I prefer uh, day. Why? Why day? Uh, because uh, uh, hacer más cosas, creo. <laughs> okay, I can do uh, many things. Say it. I can do many things. I can do many things. Thank you. Which do you prefer, Andrea Lisbeth? Popcorn or chocolate? I, I prefer it chocolate. Okay, chocolate. Perfect. And what about you, Enrique? What do you prefer? Popcorn or chocolate? I prefer popcorn. Popcorn, okay. Do you like salty things, Enrique? Sorry, sorry. What do you say? Do you like salty things? Salty. I don't know. I don't know what is that. Okay, salado, okay. Thank you, uh, Mirna. Uh, okay. Got it. All right. Yes, salado, okay. Uh, Brian Alexander, which do you prefer? Your cell phone or your computer? On cell phone. My cell phone. Why my cell phone? Why my cell phone? Why? Por qué, Ryan? Why, why? ¿Cómo se dice más práctico? Oh, because it's more practical. Okay. It's easier to use. Okay. Yes. All right. And what is your favorite day of the week, Kevin? Uh, I prefer it day of the week is... Sunday. Why Sunday? Saturday is Sábado. Saturday. Because uh, go to uh, my family in the Church. Okay, excellent. All right, and you, Carlos Vega, what is your favorite day of the week? My favorite day is Saturday. Why Saturday? Because I relax in, in my house. Okay, so you relax in your house, of course, right? Maribel, what is your favorite day of the week? My favorite day is Sunday is for family. Okay, perfect. Okay, excellent, guys. So now, yes, let's start with the present continuous, okay? And let me ask you, okay? Well, I need one volunteer to read from one to five. One volunteer. Okay, so um, Andrea, you from one to five, Janet from six to 10, and Carlos, uh, let me see, Carlos, I think that Carlos Vega. Carlos Vega from 11 to 15, okay? Go, Andrea. 18. Okay. Drinking. Mm -hmm. Cooking. Cooking. Yes. Reading. Studying. Studying. Very good. Janet. Well, I think that. We cannot, yeah. Teaching, singing, sleeping, swimming, planning. Perfect. 11. Watching TV, listen, listening to music, playing cards, playing baseball, and playing the piano. Yes, okay. So as you can see, we have different pictures. So he is eating, right? What is she drinking? What is she drinking? Water. Okay. And what is he cooking? Meat. Beef. 
meats, okay, beans, and what is she reading? Oh, the newspaper. newspaper. Okay, and what is he studying? A book. A book, okay. And what is she teaching? Math. Math. And what is he singing? I will always love you. I will always <laughs> love you, okay, yes. All right, so, and what is she dreaming of? In your boyfriend. <laughs> okay, in her boyfriend. Okay, in her boyfriend. Okay, and okay. Um, at what time is he swimming? At what time? What time? At noon. In the morning. At noon in the morning. Okay, perfect. And what is she planting? Flowers. 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 Okay, very good. And what is he watching? The news. The news. And what is she listening to? He sings music. the music in the music. salsa. <laughs> okay, salsa music. Okay, very good. And who is she playing cards with? Who? Parker. Okay. With but her husband. With her husband. And huh? who is he playing baseball with? Who? With his with team. Her. With his team, okay. All right, very good. And who is he playing the piano with? Alon. Alon? Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. Excellent. Okay, different vocabulary, guys. Let's move. Okay, let me see. Amanda, help us reading this chart. All, all of this. How to use... Present continuous for future events. We use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a, at a time later than now. Mm -hmm. A structure, subject plus verb plus main verb, gerund plus complement. Yes. One, I am meeting the in interns tomorrow yes. this action will take place in the future tomorrow what time is maria interviewing the people letter b she's interviewing them at 5 p.m a i am writing the report next week yes Letter B, nice, and I am sending it as soon as you finish. Perfect, okay, very good. So as you can see, guys, this is almost the same information that we covered on Friday, but we are going to make a review on that. Remember that for the present continues, all right, present continues, we use it to talk about future events and for actions that are happening right now. Just don't forget that we use the subject verb to be, the main verb in gerund, so that means in the ing, and we also have the complement, okay? And we have a couple of examples right here. We have questions and we also have the answer, okay? For example, what time is Maria interviewing the people? She is interviewing them at 5 p.m. or I am writing the report next week. Nice. And I am sending it as soon as possible. Look at this. As soon as possible. Do you remember the abbreviation ASAP? A so, yes. Oh. Uh -huh. As soon as possible. Very good. Yes. Okay. ASAP. As soon as possible. Okay. Now, action happening now and action uh, happening in the future. Okay. So in this case, let's see. Um, I need one volunteer to read the examples. Okay, Carlos, help us read the examples that we have right here. I am teaching right now. I'm not drinking water at the moment. Am I teaching English now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. 
the expressions right now at the moment at this time now currently thank you now for actions in the future okay this is this is not like uh, the correct information this should be in the future carlos continue please we are working tomorrow mm -hmm. we are not working on december 25th excellent are working on december 25th mm -hmm. yes we are no we aren't mm -hmm. we are not yes the expressions tonight tomorrow this weekend next monday friday and saturday next week next weekend next year yes perfect okay guys what are we missing on this example? What are we missing? Mm. Is this question correct? No. What are we missing? Que nos hace falta? We. we the subject, right? So are we working on December 25th? Yes, we are, or no, we are not, which is the answer, okay? So now let's continue and let's take a look at some questions, okay? Look at this, look at this image, look at this image and look at the questions, guys. So it says, what are you doing? I'm reading. What are you doing? We are cooking. What are, what are Mary and Fred doing? So two, Mary and Fred, two people, two. They are studying, studying English. Yes. Then I need one volunteer to read those three. Thank you, Amanda. ¿Cuál tengo que leer, perdón? Oh, the three of them. Oh. What's Tom doing? He's eating. What's Marta doing? She's watching TV. What's your dog doing? He's sleeping. Perfect. Okay. So look at this and look at the question, guys, okay? So what's Tom doing? What's Martha doing? What's your dog doing? Yeah? WH question, WH. Las preguntas con WH, okay? Now, let's see. We have uh, a couple of exercises, number one. What are you doing? I am reading the newspaper. Excellent. Number two. ¿Cuál sería el um, complemento? What does Mr. and Mr. Lane do? Mm. What are... Who's, who's does Mr. and Mr. Lane doing? Mm. Now, let's see. Let's go back. ¿Qué se ven aquí? So what's Tom doing? He is eating. What's Martha doing? She is watching TV. What's your dog doing? It's sleeping. Okay, so now, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. What, what, what are Mr. and Miss doing? doing? Excellent. What are Mr. and Mrs. Lane doing? What are they doing? They're cooking dinner. They are cooking dinner. Excellent. Okay. They are perfect. What about number three? Letter A. What are you and Judy doing? Perfect. What are you and Judy doing? Answer. We're eating dinner. We they are. are. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So they are. They are. Okay. Or we are in this case. It depends. It depends on how you see it. Right. Yeah. It depends. So number four. Question. What is Rita doing? Answer. She is studying English. English. Perfect. Okay. So now formulate the question for this image. What is he doing? 
Give me the answer. He is sleeping. He is sleeping. What about this one? What are they what doing? What are they doing? They yes. are watching TV. Excellent. Okay. So now let's see. I need one volunteer to read A and B. Me? Okay, Andrea, Lisbeth, go. Where's one? Where's one? He's in the kitchen. He, uh, he, siempre sigo yo. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Where's Walter? He's in, he's in the kitchen. He, what's he doing? He's eating breakfast. Okay, repeat after me, Andrea. Where's Walter? Where's Walter? He's in the kitchen. He's in the kitchen. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's eating breakfast. He's eating breakfast. Okay, very good. So number one, okay? Let's create a question and let's create the answer. Number one. What is she doing? What is she doing? Is Karen doing? Okay. She is right. eating a lunch. She is eating the lunch. Where? Where is she eating the lunch? In the, the park. Lunch? In the park. Very good. Okay. She's eating her lunch in the park. Excellent. Karen is eating her lunch in the park. Estamos utilizando lugar y verbo. Okay. Number two, which is the question? What are they doing? What are they doing? Which is the answer? What are Mr. and Mr. Clark doing? What are they, they are doing? dining? They are eating dinner. Mm -hmm. In the dining room. Excellent. Okay, so they are eating dinner in the dining room. Yes, very good. All right. Number three. Number three, guys. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. What is he do? What is she doing? What, what is he doing in your bedroom? Okay. She what What are you doing in your bedroom? Okay. He he's playing the guitar in your bedroom. Okay. So now in this case, I am. Yes. In this case, if if we ask, what are you doing? I am I am guitar. in my bedroom. Yes, okay. We need to make the, the subject and verb agreement. Tienen que concordar el sujeto con la pregunta, okay? Yes. So now, number four. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing, they guys? They are playing cards in the living room. Excellent. They are playing cards in the living room. Excellent. Very good. Number five, Gary and Jane. What are Gary and Jane doing? Excellent. So what are they doing, guys? They are playing in the yard. And what are they playing? Softball in the jar. They, 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 they are playing baseball in the yard. In the yard. Yes, they are playing baseball. Okay, baseball. And number six, Miss Baker. What, what are you doing, Miss Baker? What is Miss Baker what doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? What is Miss Baker doing? Yeah. She is eating her lunch at the cafeteria. Okay. Or she's she drinking, drinking milk. milk. Excellent. Or she is drinking milk in the cafeteria. Yes. Very good. Okay. Questions so far? Questions? Doubts? Preguntas? Dudas? No. Okay. 
I need two volunteers. One is going to read in the park and the other one is going to read at home in the yard. Me. Okay, Carlos, you in the park and I need another volunteer. Me. Okay, thank you, Giovanni. With at home in the yard. Go, Carlos. The Jones family is in the park today. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. It's a beautiful day. Mr. John is reading the newspaper. Mrs. John is listening to the radio. Sally and Patty Jones are studying and mm -hmm. Tommy Jones is playing the guitar. Mm -hmm. The Jones family is very happy today. It's a beautiful day and they're in the they are in the park. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Uh, now, Giovanni, please. At home in the yard. The Shen family is at home in the yard today. The sun is shining and birds are singing. It's a beautiful day. Mr. Chen is planting flowers. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Chen is drinking. Um, Lemonade. Lemonade. Yeah, lemonade. I'm reading a book. Yes. Emily and Jansen Chen are playing with the dog, mm -hmm. and Jennifer Chen is sleeping. The Chen family is very happy today. It's a beautiful day, and they are home in their yard. Perfect. Okay. So, in this case, guys, as you can see right here, we have two short readings. Dos lecturas pequeñas, two short readings, right? Where we can see that we are using the present continuous. Look at this. The sun is shining. What is the meaning of shining? The sun is? Está brillando. Está brillando. Cuando se dice, oh my God, que bonito es el sol, bien resplandeciente. ¿verdad? Bien brillante. Aquel sol que bien... Um, okay, super fuerte. Okay, so the sun is shining. Okay, the birds, the birds are singing. And look at the birds, they are singing. Look at the birds right here, they are singing, right? So they are singing. Uh -huh. Mr. Jones is reading the newspaper. Look at Mr. Jones, he is Mr. Jones. Okay. Then Mrs. Jones, she is Mrs. Jones, is listening to the radio. Look at her. She is listening to the radio, okay? Then Sally and Patty Jones are studying. Sally and Patty, they are studying. And Tommy Jones is playing the guitar. He is playing the guitar. What is the butterfly doing? We have a butterfly right here. What is the butterfly doing, guys? Mm -hmm. Flying. The butterfly is flying. Very good. Volando, okay? So the family Jones, uh, the Jones family is very happy today. It's a beautiful day and they are in the park, okay? So this one was family Jones. Now, at home in the yard, this is the Chen family, look at them, the Chen family, yeah? They are at home in the yard, mire el patio, yard, today. The sun is shining, the same thing, mire, the sun is shining, and the birds are singing. Look at the birds, yeah? So it's a beautiful day. Mr. Chen is planting flowers, okay? Mr. Chen is planting flowers. Mrs., all right, Mrs. Chen is drinking lemonade and reading a book. Look at Mrs. Chen, yeah. Reading and drinking, yeah. Emily and Jason Chen are playing with the dog. Emily and Jason, they are playing with the dog. Look at the dog, okay. And Jennifer Chen, the baby, she is, sleeping yeah the Chen family is very happy today it's a beautiful day and they are at home in the yard yeah present continuous present continuous guys 
All right. So now this is teamwork. All right. This is teamwork. Let me go ahead and remove that. Teamwork. Okay. I'll give you around four minutes for you to discuss. All right. So look at the picture. Va a ver la, la, la imagen y me va a describir todo lo que están haciendo. Four minutes. Cuatro minutos en equipo. Se van a ir a diferentes salones para que discutan de eso y luego los llamo de nuevo y uno va a presentar. Okay. Uno de ustedes va a describir la imagen. All right. So let's move to breakout rooms. Uh, let me go ahead and create them. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Yo no me uní porque eh, al grupo porque como voy manejando, pero no sé si a pesar de eso siempre unirme. Well, if you are driving, you can be as a listener, se lo puede ser de oyente escuchando cómo ellos hablan, ¿verdad? Pero si cree que no se puede unir porque le va a interferir, no, no se una. No, no hay problema por por oír, no tengo ningún problema, entonces yo porque siempre les tengo siempre me presento con los compañeros y les digo Compañeros, disculpen, voy manejando y yo solo lo escucho, entonces, ¿Sí? por mí no tengo problema. Está bien, con, eh, join, váyase al grupo. Ok. okay. Me, me invitas, por favor, porque le puse ahora, ¿no? Ah, ok, ok, ok. Sorry to tell me too, I'm driving. Ok, ok, thank you, Jacqueline. Sabía esta cosita. Captura. Ahorita. Ahorita lo encuentro, Bray. Sería. Pues están asando carne, creo yo. <ríe> Qué rico. Están cocinando carne. Sí. Que sería... Mr. Martini. No, la... primero creo que es la pregunta. Hay que hacer pregunta. Creo yo. Teacher, hello. Yes. Yes, I'm Ay, here. Yeah. No, you shouldn't you shouldn't ask questions. You are going to describe. Solo describa. Solo describa. Solo describa la imagen. ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? What are they como doing? Lo, como lo que se hizo de arriba. En la, en la imagen anterior. Correct. Mr. Martinez is cooking meat. 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 Carne, no, ¿cómo se dice carne? Stay. Mrs. Martínez. Uh -huh. Porque ahí estaríamos hablando de, los, de ellos dos. Ellos dos son los que están, no, no están haciendo lo mismo. No, el, es que vale. el, el, Mr. Él, Mar... él está cocinando. Mr. Ah. Con ese es ella, creo yo. Pero sí, sí, ella sí. está como tomando, tomando limonada. Ok. Y asombrada que el esposo está cocinando. Sería Mr. Martínez. He, he is cooking. 
He is cooking, okay. He is cooking meat and... Eso es un salchicha. ¿Y cómo se dice salchicha? How do you say salchicha? How do you say salchicha? Okay, you can, you can uh, call them sausages. Sausages. Teacher, sería meat or steak? Mm. A steak es bistec. Pero para saber qué es lo que está cocinando, mm. tengo que probar. Bueno, en este caso se puede inventar. Póngale que es steak. Pedirlo, Sí, póngale que es steak. O le pone que es meat. Ahí como se eh, considere. Bueno. Uh -huh. Meat pongámosle mejor. Yes, es bueno. más general. Es más general. Ajá. Es más. Entonces sería quedo de, mi, de Mr. Mr. Martínez. Uh -huh. he, he is cooking meat en uh -huh. sauce. Yes. ¿Cuál es esa? ¿La de ella? No, la de él. Mr. Uh -huh. Martínez is cooking meat and sausage. Sausages. 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 Mr. Martínez, ella. Entonces ya no le ponemos el he, ¿verdad, teacher? Porque ya le estamos poniendo el señor Martínez. Entonces yes. sería Mr. Martínez cooking. Mr. Martínez is cooking. Ajá. Mr. Martínez is cooking meat and sauce, sauces. Yes. Sausages. Y para, para ¿Cómo decir, se... el de ella siempre es Mr. ¿Cómo? Para pronunciar el de ella es siempre Mr. o Miss. No, Mrs. Mrs. Entonces es como un diálogo, ¿verdad? En, en she. En she is drinking mm -hmm. lemonade. 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 Mm -hmm. Lemon. Lemon. Shining. El sol está brillando. El sol está brillando, correcto. El sol está brillando. Yes. Teacher, en una, en una descripción así. Yes. Eh, no sé, ajá, no tendría que ir tanto el I, I, I. Por oh. ejemplo, eh, Mr. Mr. Martínez is cooking meat and sauces. And she drinking lemonade. The sun is shining. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, digamos, en en bird are singing. Ajá, sería, por eso le digo, ponerle en Sería I, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo se pudiera prolongar una, una, un, un párrafito así que no lleve tanto el, digamos, y el pájaro, y ella, y, y algo así? Mm. Well, in that case, el, el contexto en sí no, o sea... Está perfecto que digamos y porque estamos describiendo que están haciendo todos. Son Entonces, varias. Ajá, no, no hay ningún problema. En ese caso, no hay ningún problema. O sea, así está bien. 
Okay. Es yes. leyendo o leyendo. 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 Yes. Leyendo. Y ahí sería in the beer singing. Mm. Están cantando. Ajá. They are no, singing. In the beer. Ahí veo un pajarito. Oh, no. Ok. Birds. Birds. Be no, birds con E. Birds. Birds. Birds are singing. Birds are singing. 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 Yes. Así como se escribe. Como se escucha. Ajá, ah, sí, singing. Como se escucha. The, the child. Uh -huh. No, no logro ver qué está haciendo el niño. The child. Mm -hmm. um, the child are the child is playing. Correct. Tatiana. I'm not playing. Okay. Ready? I see. Mm -hmm. y de todo y vamos a hacer yes, I mean lo más que pueda bueno Michelle para decir este joven es John Young, ¿verdad? John Boy John Boy John Boy, mm -hmm. John Boy. entonces hasta donde voy me faltan todavía. Le voy a leer lo que tengo. Le puse. Mr. Martínez is cooking meat and sausage. And... Sausages. ¿Cómo se dice? Sausages. Sausages. Ah, sí. Sausages. Sausages. Yes, sausages. And, and she drinking lemonade. Yes. The sun... The sun is shining shining in the shining in the bear in the birds are singing yes the child is playing mm -hmm. the young boy is reading yes reading okay yes vamos bien all right so let's go back to the main room okay vámonos ya al salón okay. principal yeah let's go back Okay, Kevin, can you please describe the picture? Uh, Mr. Martinez is cooking. Okay. Alex is reading the magazine. Okay. Uh, the dog, ahí tenemos una pregunta, teacher. Si es watching or saying? Oh, watching. Uh, is Jimmy Martinez, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Entonces sería, the dog is watching is Jimmy Martinez. Jimmy Martinez, okay, yes, uh -huh. very good. Jimmy, Jimmy Martinez is listening to music. Okay, okay. Jimmy Martinez good. is swimming. Swimming, uh, the, swimming. Swimming. The family Martinez is happy. Is happy, excellent. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Giovanni, can you describe the picture? Okay, uh, the family Martinez, the Martinez family. Uh -huh, very good. The father is cooking hot dog and hamburger. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Martinez is drinking lemonade, lemonade and 
put and her skin sound black. Excellent. Uh -huh. Jimmy Martinez is listening music and dancing. Mm -hmm. Alex Martinez is reading a book and take song with your sunglasses. Okay, and taking. Uh -huh. Tina Martinez is swimming in the sea and okay. she is smiling. And she is smiling. A smiling. Yes, Before smiling. she was make some custom. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Just don't forget that is Jimmy Martinez is listening to music. Listen, Martinez is listening to music. Okay, what else? What else can you tell me, guys, in general? What else can you tell me about this picture? Something else? Algo más que no haya mencionado sus compañeros de esa imagen? The bird they are is flying. having a good day. In the Excellent. The bird is flying. They are having a good day. Okay. They are enjoying a beautiful day. Excellent. They are enjoying. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Okay, guys. Attendance. I'm going to take the attendance. Say present. Okay. Say present. So give me one second. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay, give me one second. It's loading. Okay, so Amanda Yesenia. Present. Very good. Uh, Andrea Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. Brian Alexander. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Vega. Present. Thank you. Dina Maribel Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Arturo Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Amaya de Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Marlene Pérez de Celidón. Present. Thank you. Joel Alberto Barrera. Yeah, Joel, getting connected. Okay. Juan Carlos Joel Amaya. Here. Thank you. Kevin Adiel Someta Rosa. Kevin? Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Manzanares. Luis Ernesto? No. Luis Giovanni Villa? Present. Thank you. Mirna Yesenia Jimenez. Present. Okay, thank you. Noemi Claribel Méndez. Present. Thank you. Eunice Álvarez. Okay. Oscar Giovanni Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Ronald Eduardo Otero. Present. Thank you. Rosibel Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Jancy Odalis Rendero. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenny Alexandra Montenegro. Kenny Alexandra Montenegro. Okay. Marlon Orlando Calles. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Okay, guys, let's continue. Give me one second. I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, so let's continue, guys. And now let's move to this. Pronunciation, okay? Let's move to pronunciation, okay? So repeat after me, okay? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are Jim and Jane doing? What are Jim and Jane doing? Doing. 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 Yes, now where are Mary and Fred? Where, where are, are Mary, Mary and, Fred? and Fred? Yes, okay. And where are you and Judy? Where are, where are, you, where and are you, Judy? you and Judy? Yes, as you can see, guys, they have erased or they have deleted some vowels, okay? Fíjese bien, aquellos como que le han tachado, ¿verdad? 
they have eliminated. La, le han eliminado como las vocales. Porque la S, la R se pronuncia R. Entonces suena como R. What, what are, it? Yes, uh -huh. correct. What, are, what are, yeah, what are, what are Jim, yeah, what are Jim and Jane doing? I mean, tienen que reducir. Solamente va a decir what, what are, primero hágalo como así bien pronunciado, ¿verdad? What are Jim what and are Jane doing? Yeah. What are they doing? Ajá, what are they doing? Do, do, do. doing. Yeah, doing, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's see, I need one volunteer to read those four. Yes, thank you, Kevin, go. They eat, then listen. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. What are Carol and Ken doing yes where where are mr and me para diferenciar ahí el otro como sería oh okay so yeah that was a question that some of you had as well so this one is mr this is mr guys and this one is mrs okay. mrs all right yeah where we are mr and mrs Lane. Yes. Where we are you and Henry. Yes. Okay. So now let's see. Let's go ahead and move to match the question and answers. Let's match. Okay. Let's match. Okay. Number one. Which is the answer? What's Mr. Baker doing? Which is the, the answer? ¿Cuál es la, la respuesta para esa pregunta de acá? He's cooking dinner. Letter C. Excellent. Letter C. He's cooking dinner. Number two. What are Susan and Jane doing? They, they are studying. They are studying. Yes. Repeat after studying. me. They are studying. They are studying. Excellent. Number three. What are you and Sam doing? We are eating lunch. Excellent. We are eating lunch. Where? We're eating lunch. What's Miss Garcia doing? She's reading a book. She's reading a book. Okay. She's, she's, she's reading a book. What are you doing? I'm watching. I am watching TV. Okay, I am watching TV. Are you sure? No, you you play. You're the piano. playing the piano. Excellent. And what am I doing? I am watching TV. What? I am watching TV. Okay. Now let's complete the sentences. Okay. So what is the missing? The missing part. ¿Qué le falta aquí? What? R. Mm -hmm. R. Are you sure? Uh, what, is, is, what is this? What is this? Yes. Okay. What is he doing? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He is sleeping. Very good. Number eight. Number eight. What are Mr. Excellent. What are Mr. and Mrs. Wu doing? All right. Mr. and Mrs. Let it be. Answer it. They are. They are eating breakfast. Excellent. What about number nine? What am what I doing? doing? What? What? Yes. Now this one, guys, when it comes to pronunciation, you can say, what am I doing? That am what am I? What am I? What am I? Yeah, what am I doing? Yes. I'm now, swimming. yeah, what am I doing? Let it be. I'm I swimming. Am swimming. I'm swimming. Perfect. What about number 10? What are you and Carol doing? Yes, what are you and Carol doing? Uh -huh. 
They are playing cards. We're playing cards. Excellent. Yeah. Where? yeah, where? Because it says, what are you and Carol doing? So you both. Yeah. So we're playing cards. Excellent. 11. What, what are, are you doing? doing? What are you doing? Uh -huh. And letter B, the answer? I'm reading a book. I'm, I'm reading, reading a, book. a book. Perfect. I'm reading a book. Contractions. Excellent. And the last one, 12. What is? What are? Oh, what is? What is Miss Lopez doing? Excellent. And what is Miss Lopez doing? She is listening to music. She is listening to music. So you see? Easy. Piece of cake. Yeah. Now let's take a look at some vocabulary, guys, when it comes to instruments. Okay. So we have the violin. Yeah. The violin. The clarinet. Yeah. The violin, the clarinet, the trumpet. The trumpet. Okay. So do you like to play the trumpet? No? No. 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 Do you like to play the violin? No. Do you yes. like? I can. Yes, you can't. Okay. So, can you play the clarinet? No, no I can't. No, I, I can't. can't. No, I can't. Okay. Now, sports: soccer, tennis, and basketball. Do you like to play soccer? Yeah, I play soccer. Okay, perfect. Do you like to no. play tennis? No, no play tennis. No. Okay, and do you like to play basketball? Yes. Yes. Perfect, okay. So now games, games, chess. What is the meaning of chess? Ajedrez. Ajedrez. What is the meaning of checkers? Damas. Damas. <laughs> Okay, so checkers, <laughs> damas, chess, ajedrez, okay? Tic-tac-toe. X0. Cero. X0. Cero. Do you like to play tic-tac-toe? Yes. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to play tic-tac-toe. Yes. Bachillerato <laughs> stop. Ah, okay, yes. Okay, bachillerato stop. Stop the bus. Okay, we are going to play stop the bus tomorrow. Okay, guys, so now let's unscramble, unscramble the following words to create sentences, okay? Let's see, number two, vamos a reorganize, number two. Mom. Jose is receiving the new, co the new workers tomorrow. Yes, Jose is receiving new, the new workers tomorrow. Number two. Mark. Is Mark is week. sending the letters the next week. Okay, Mark is sending the letters next the next week. The next week. Hmm. Okay, very good. So let me see. Number three. Number three, Andrea. Okay. Jay, Jay is working. Jane is working. Eh, no sé qué es Tony. Tony. On the report. On the report. On the report. Tonight. Tonight. What is the meaning tonight. of tonight? What is the meaning of tonight? Tonight means? Esta noche. Esta noche. Esta noche. Yes, tonight. Okay. So number four, eh, Rosibel, number four. Walter is singing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today, the checks today. Excellent. So now repeat after me and say signing. Signing. Yes, esto, eso no es singing. Fíjese bien en la escritura. Se parece. Ajá. Pero Sign. no. Signing. Ajá, signing. ¿Qué es signing? Sign. Well, sign sin el, sin el ing es firmar. Firmar. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Signing. 
signing. Very good. Yes. Okay. Number five. Number five. Mariana. Ma Mariana. Is, is organizing the presentation in, in the afternoon. Organizing the presentation. The presentation in the afternoon. Excellent. So you see, really simple. It's not difficult, right? What about number six? Uh huh. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. The bank tomorrow. Okay. Yes, guys. Do you have any question about the simple present continuous? Questions, doubts, preguntas aquí? No? Okay. Let's continue, all right? And before we uh, take the quiz, let's read this dialogue. I need two volunteers. One is going to be Peter and the other one is going to be Henry. Me. Carlos Vega and Rosibel. Okay, Carlos Vega, Peter, Henry, Rosibel. Okay. Okay, uh, hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is uh, representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie in uh, attendance the conference this year too, so. I see. But if July is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector the new account. Sounds great. So I am informing the community commit commit about it. Okay. Repeat after me as a committee. Committee. Yeah. So guys, look at this example. We have many sentences in the present continuous. Recuerde. El presente continuous nos ayuda a hablar para cosas en futuro o para acciones que estamos haciendo en este momento. Yeah? So we have this dialogue. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see... But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? All right. Guess what? Adivina qué? Guess what? Guess what? I am. Yo dice. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Yeah, accountant. Sounds great. Suena bien. Okay. So I am informing the committee about it. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, what are some events that are taking place the next week? Tell me one event in your company that is taking place the next week. An event? Next week. Secure uh, event. Okay, security events. Okay. Capacitación de seguros. Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. So we are having a training. We are having. You are having a training. Una capacitación. Un training. Yes. Okay. Very good. And the other ones. Are you having your Christmas party? Your uh, Christmas Aria party? party. Okay, okay, very good. Uh huh. And the other ones? Nothing. No tiene eventos el otro la otra semana. Nadie. No hay pista, dice la empresa. <laughs> oh my God, guys! Okay, at least a a a lunch, right? I don't know. <laughs> 
La entrega de, de la guinalda. <risa> ok, guys. Now, yes. Let's take the grammar quiz. Vaya, ahorita vamos con el examen de gramática. Okay, grammar. Ahorita lo voy a mandar al WhatsApp. Y a los que pueden entrar al link de las clases, lo pueden tomar de ahí. Y si no, lo voy a mandar al WhatsApp y aquí también, al chat de aquí. Vaya, primero lo voy a mandar aquí para que lo tenga y lo abra. Los que no lo pueden abrir desde acá, les voy a mandar al chat de WhatsApp. Let me see. Ok, ahí está. El código es Grammar 2022. Ese es el código de acceso, todo en letras mayúsculas, acuérdese. Okay. Bueno, cuando ya termine me dice Don't Teacher. Okay, pero saber que ya terminó. Don. Don, teacher. Okay, guys, thank you. Teacher. Yes. La cuatro da, da, da error, pero es lo mismo. Uh -huh. Medio eh, error, eh, pero una, hay dos respuestas iguales. Let me see. Okay. No, sí, también a mí me dio error. Ok. Let me check. Number four. Ah, yes. Ok, I'm going to erase that one. Let me see the results. It's number four, right? Ah, yes. Okay, yes, Carlos. Enrique, okay.
I got Giovanni. Let me see Giovanni. Okay. Teacher, teacher, disculpe, la cuatro no la, no la comprendo mucho, que dice Miss y Mr. Lee. Es mm -hmm. una pregunta. Yeah, in this case, it should be worse. I mean, you put it correct. Usted la puso buena. Ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. So let me see. Um, Giovanni, you only have incorrect number two. La dos is incorrect. Uh -huh. Number two. <laughs> yeah. Gen C. Perfect. Okay, guys. Um, I'm missing some of you. Okay, me faltan algunos. Thank you, Noemi. Thank you, Odalis. Yeah, I saw yours. Uh, um, Don't. Yes, thank you. Um, okay, I'm missing, I'm missing seven. Don't, teacher. Yeah, I'm missing just five. Let me see. Okay, very good. Let me see. I got run out. What No, the tuvo buena. Yeah. Los que la cuatro la pusieron con where's. De donde está bien. Okay, where's. Veo que una solo esa le salió mala. Pero si tiene otra mala que no sea la cuatro, esa sí está mala. Okay. Well, y si puso what are en la cuatro, esa mala. Tiene que hacer worse. Ok. Ok, teacher. La cuatro me da error, teacher. Yes, Kevin. De ahí todo va a estar ya. Yeah. Sí, la cuatro da error. Mande, mande su respuesta, Kevin. Okay, guys, so let's get ready. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, guys, ba, la que tiene mala es la tres, Kevin. Okay, guys, let's take the listening. Vamos a tomar el primer listening, okay? El primer audio, okay? Eh, okay, me voy a mandar el examen. Give me one second. Vaya, para los que pueden abrirlo acá, aquí está. Y para los que no, ya se nos mandó al WhatsApp. Ok. Open it. Ábrelo y me dice cuando ya esté adentro. Ok. You're in? In. Excellent. Ok. Yes, perfect. ¿Cuál es el, el passcode, teacher? Oh, listening. Capital letters. Listening. Okay. Okay. Okay, you ready? Ready. All right, guys. So, this one. 
Okay. Bye, guys. I'm going to play it. Se lo voy a poner tres veces. Three times, okay? Three times. This one is easy, but probably a little bit difficult, but okay. Let's see, three times, okay? Here we go. Amy, so what do you do for a living? Well, I work as an attorney. Oh, and what kind of law do you practice? I mean, what is your specialty? I work as a personal injury attorney, and we work with all kinds of cases. Oh, for example? Well, like injuries in car accidents, falls, and evil animal attacks. Oh. Like a neighbor's dog that bites you when you go to get the morning newspaper. Wow. And where did you study law? I graduated from Stanford Law School. Oh, and when was that? I completed my studies there in 1997. Oh. Well, actually, my son is thinking about going into law. Hey, look, if your son is interested, he can even drop by my office this week. I'm there until 5.30 every day. Wow, that's very kind of you to offer. I'll let my son know. Thanks. Okay. Again. Otra vez. Okay. Yes. Amy, so what do you do for a living? Well, I work as an attorney. Oh, and what kind of law do you practice? I mean, what is your specialty? I work as a personal injury attorney, and we work with all kinds of cases. Oh, for example? Well, like injuries in car accidents, falls, and evil animal attacks. Oh. Like a neighbor's dog that bites you when you go to get the morning newspaper. Wow. And where did you study law? I graduated from Stanford Law School. Oh, and when was that? I completed my studies there in 1997. Oh. Well, actually, my son is thinking about going into law. Hey, look, if your son is interested, he can even drop by my office this week. I'm there until 5.30 every day. Wow, that's very kind of you to offer. I'll let my son know. Thanks. Okay, the last time. Okay, la última vez. Okay. Amy, so what do you do for a living? Well, I work as an attorney. Oh, and what kind of law do you practice? I mean, what is your specialty? I work as a personal injury attorney. And we work with all kinds of cases. Oh, for example? Well, like injuries in car accidents, falls, and evil animal attacks. Oh. Like a neighbor's dog that bites you when you go to get the morning newspaper. Wow. And where did you study law? I graduated from Stanford Law School. Oh, and when was that? I completed my studies there in 1997. Oh. Well, actually, my son is thinking about going into law. Hey, look, if your son is interested, he can even drop by my office this week. I'm there until 5.30 every day. Wow, that's very kind of you to offer. I'll let my son know. Thanks. Okay, ready? Teacher. Yes? One more time, please. One more time. Okay. The beginning is difficult. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Amy, so what do you do for a living? Well, I work as an attorney. Oh, and what kind of law do you practice? I mean, what is your specialty? I work as a personal injury attorney, and we work with all kinds of cases. Oh, for example? Well, like injuries in car accidents, falls, and evil animal attacks. Oh. Like a neighbor's dog that bites you when you go to get the morning newspaper. Wow. And where did you study law? I graduated from Stanford Law School. Oh, and when was that? I completed my studies there in 1997. Oh. Well, actually, my son is thinking about going into law. Hey, look, if your son is interested, he can even drop by my office this week. I'm there until 5.30 every day. Wow, that's very kind of you to offer. I'll let my son know. Thanks. Okay, you ready? Okay, send your answers. Mande su respuesta, okay? Let me see. Excellent. Okay, I got uh, 100. Okay, I got 80s. I got 60s. Okay. Oh. Let me see. Okay. Was it difficult? Yes. That one kind of difficult, right? Yes. Yes, that yes one. difficult. Okay, guys, so this oh. one, the second one, we are going to take the second one. Vamos a tomar el segundo ya. El segundo, the second one, 
No sé si se recuerda usted que en el uh, módulo anterior vimos las horas. Vieron las horas, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese es acerca de las horas, de cómo decir las horas en inglés, el, el, el tiempo. Espero que se recuerde más o menos, ¿ok? ¿Cómo se dice 5 para las 11? 5, 12, 11. Ok. 5, 11. Ok, so 5 para las 11. 10.55. Ok. So. <laughs> ok, Carlos. Half, el half es que pasa, ¿verdad? Yes, pero en ese caso half es como 30. Ah, sí, sí, es cierto. Or 5 11 o'clock. 5 to 11. 5 to 11. 5 para las 12 o para las 11. 5 to 11 para las 11. Ahora, 15 para las 11. 15 to 11. ¿Y qué, de qué otra manera se puede decir esos 15 minutos? 15 past 11. No, en ese Quarter to 11. Quarter, correct. Okay. Yeah. Yes. A quarter to 11. Like, este listening es de eso, guys. De las horas. Vale, vamos a, a intentarlo, ok. Vamos a ver si se, sí se aprende. Okay. Sí se aprende. Okay. Okay. Vale, vamos a intentarlo. Okay. Okay. Ay, ay. ok, so ahí está en el, en el chat y le voy a mandar al, al grupo okay, de WhatsApp. Vaya. Ese es de las horas. Okay. Vaya, same thing. I'm going to play it three times. Se lo voy a poner tres veces. Okay. And if you need an extra time, let me know. Si necesita una extra, me dice, ¿verdad? Pero ya después, cuando terminemos la tercera. Ok. Mari. Ready. Ok. Bye, guys. Let me see. Ok. Open this one, Noemi. That's a new one. Ese es el, el siguiente. Okay, ready? Everybody? Yes. Okay, here we go. Aquí vamos, guys. Okay. Number one. Our class begins at 4.15. Number two, my mother left this morning at 9.13. Number three, I'm going to catch my bus at 20 to 4. Number four, let's get together at five after twelve. Number five, the store closes today at a quarter to six. Number six, the movie starts at seven forty. Number seven, she called this morning at ten past ten. Number eight, their plane arrives at a quarter to twelve. Number nine, 
Number 9. Please come to my office at 8.05. Number 10. I have to work at half past 3. Darn. Again, okay, again. Otra vez. Number one. Our class begins at 4.15. Number two. My mother left this morning at 9.13. Number three, I'm going to catch my bus at 20 to 4. Number four, let's get together at 5 after 12. Number five, the store closes today at a quarter to 6. Number six, the movie starts at 7.40. Number seven, she called this morning at 10 past 10. Number eight, their plane arrives at a quarter to 12. Number nine, please come to my office at 8.05. Number ten, I have to work at half past three. Okay. Ready or do you need the extra time? La última. La última. Okay. Number one, our class begins at 4.15. Number two, my mother left this morning at 9.13. Number three, I'm going to catch my bus at 20 to 4. Number 4. Let's get together at 5 after 12. Number 5. The store closes today at a quarter to 6. Number six, the movie starts at 7.40. Number seven, she called this morning at 10 past 10. Number eight, their plane arrives at a quarter to 12. Number nine, please come to my office at 8.05. Number 10, I have to work at half past three. Okay, ready? Okay, send your answers. Okay, I got Amanda, Carlos Alberto Vega, Carlos Amaya, Maribel, Giovanni, Kevin, 
Marlon. Thank you. Let me see. Noemi. Okay. Odalis. Luna. Isabel. Okay. Was it difficult? A little bit. A little bit. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, um, I know it was kind of well a little bit because you needed to remember right about the things that you covered previously, but it's okay. I mean, you are going to be, um, you know, I would say improving. You are going to improve a lot. Yes, by mejorando poco a poco. All right, guys. So now let's move. And now that we already finished with all of the quizzes, we are going to start with the speaking time. Yeah. So we have different scenarios right here. Okay. So we have number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Yeah. So we have different scenarios. All right. So we have the first one, which says, Rudolph is having a vacation and he's planning a trip. He is visiting Brazil. What is he doing there? Okay. So, tiene que escribir una oración por cada escenario con su equipo. Okay. Utilizando el presente continuous. Aquí le estoy preguntando qué va a hacer Rudolph en Brasil. Oh. He is eating a lot of uh, food, okay? Or he is, he is going to, uh, how do you call this in Brazil? Um, ¿Cómo se llama este monumento en Brasil? Um, Chris Rey. Yes, so he is going to visit Cristo Redentor, okay? So you can go ahead and, and create different sentences, but I need just one, solo una por escenario, okay? So Rudolph is having a vacation and he is planning a trip. He is visiting Brazil. What is he doing there? He is eating a lot of exotic food, okay? So then you move to this one. The Grinch is having a vacation and he is planning a trip. He is visiting France. What is he doing there? One sentence and so on, okay? for all of them. Once you have done this, cuando ya terminado esto, you move to this, yeah? So tell us what you think these people are doing right now. For example, a SpongeBob. What do you think a SpongeBob is doing right now? What do you think a SpongeBob is doing right now? Uh -huh. He is doing Tangra Burger. He is doing kangaroo burgers. Okay, could be, right? What else? Mm -hmm. You can invent, okay? Use your imagination, but use the present continuous. Yes? So then, what is a Spider-Man doing? What is a Spider-Man doing right now? What is Harry Potter doing right now? One is going to ask and the other one is going to answer and you continue you have different images you have Brad Pitt you have Jennifer Lopez you have Mike Anthony yeah you also have Tom Cruise Sandra Bullock uh, Jim Carrey etc okay so you can speak a lot about them but first this okay so open the class guys and let's go to uh, I'm going to create the rooms but I'm going to create just three and you are going to work yeah with four or five of you order Buenas noches. Hola, Giovanni. Buenas noches. Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien, bien. Carlos y Odalis. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Hi. Hola, hola. Hello. Hi, good evening. Thank you. 
Okay. 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 Visit el Rio de Janeiro. He is visiting Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Good. Es una por cada uno, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, una por cada uno. Okay. It's going to look for a big. La, la segunda puede ser eh, his, pero dice que, que visitará. His visit París. ya sea porque mencionó Maribel si no la, la coloca ahí en el chat y así vemos porque al final no son bien yeah. bueno yo creo is going to Paris is going uh -huh. va a ir a París ¿Cuántas preguntas? ¿Cuántas preguntas son, teacher? ¿O ¿Cuántas? One sentence for each question. Una oración por cada escenario. Por cada día. Sí, por, por cada escenario, por cada eh, por cada escenario que les he puesto. Ah, ajá. o sea, que vamos a sacar una de una es Grinch, una y así sí. una es Santa. Sí, una. Ah. Una por cada escenario, sí. Bueno, 
question. Yeah. Uh, Santa Claus va a ir a comer pupusa. <laughs> ya le he puesto his eh, his swimming swimming uh -huh. in tunco. Ah, no, no puede nadar en el tunco. Ah, pues no, supiar cómo se dice. He's surfing, surfing. Surfing. Yes. ¿Cómo le, cómo le puso usted? Le voy a poner He's surfing in Tunco. Yes. Is going to eat pupusa at no quinta. In o lo quinta. Sería, teacher, sería in o lo quinta o on o lo quinta. In. O at. No, in. Es una ciudad. Yes, cuando sea una ciudad siempre va a ser in. It's going to eat pupusas in Olocuilta. In Y, y el de Frozen, para qué va a ser? Bueno. Eh, yo quiero ver, digo que le pongamos. Sí. Voy a ir a la playa porque el Frozen no, quiere comenzar el no, a la playa no. Quiero conocer el, la nieve. Vamos a ver cómo se dice el nieve. El snow. Snow. Yes. No, pero es que él es muñeco de nieve. Ya conoce la nieve. Ah, sí. Uy, yeah. <risa> oh, no. Como que yo voy a visitar la playa. Nosotros no la conocemos. Esa. <risa> Va a, ir a, va a ir a conocer la playa, ¿no? ¿Qué vas a hacer, no? No, porque la, 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 la de Frozen le va a aventar ahí un volado. Pero... Quiero ver, va a ir a... Va a ir a Narnia. ¿Qué es Inven? Usted usa su imaginación. I'm sorry, teacher. Que siempre he sido así, ¿no? A patinar. Visite Las Vegas. Va a ir a visitar Las Vegas. Ajá, uh -huh. he is visiting Las Vegas. He is visiting Las Vegas. He's visiting Las Vegas. Uh -huh, he's visiting Las Vegas. It's going to visit Las Vegas. He's going to visit Las Vegas, yes. Going to visit Las Vegas. There's no money. Y Peter Pan. Es él, él. 
No es Peter Elfo. Pan. Elfo. Sí. Yo digo que es Elf. He's 80. Elf. He's uh -huh. eating, eating pasta. El elfo se le escapa a papá Noel. <laughs> Uh -huh. He is eating pasta. Very good. Va a comer pasta. Yes. He is eating pasta. Y no tiene traducción, teacher. Elf? Vino. Vino. De tomar vino. Yes, wine. Wine. Yes. Entonces, ¿cómo wine. sería? Uh, he is eating pasta and drinking wine. Right. Vamos huh? con... Vamos con la de web. En este caso se puede decir he's with his friends, eh, Patrick. Teacher. Yes, in that case you can say he is with uh, his friend Patrick. Sí puede decirlo. He's yes. flying with Patricia today. He's with, flying with, with his, uh -huh, he's, he's, um, he, he's flying, but with Patricia Stray. No. He's playing with Patrick. Playing. Mm -hmm. Playing. Uh -huh. Bob Spider-Man Spider-Man is Spider-Man is kissing a uh, Mary Jane Excellent eh, Para columpiarse teacher eh. He is yeah. uh, columpiarse, you can say it eh, columpiándose, ¿verdad? Swinging. He is swinging around the city. 
Ok, yes. Sí. Yeah. Ok, let me see. Veamos aquí. Giovanni. Okay, Rosibel, what is Rudolph doing in Brazil? Um, Rudolph is play, playing sun on the beach uh -huh. in Brazil. And what about the Grange? What is he doing in France? Uh, the Grange is Taking picture in the museum of friends. Excellent. And what is Santa Claus doing in El Salvador? Santa Claus by visiting in Surf City. In Surf City, okay. He, because he likes to surf and there is not beach on the North Pole. In the North Pole. Perfect. Yeah, that is really accurate. Okay, thank you, Rosibel. Uh, Giovanni, what is a snowman doing in United States? Oh, United States. Uh, aquí está. Yes. A snowman is buying a new scarf. Excellent, very good. And what about El Giovanni? What is he doing? He is visiting Italy. What is he doing there? He's eating pupusas. Ah, no, perdón. He's eating pasta in Italy. Okay, he's eating <laughs> pasta in Italy. All right. So then let me ask you, Marlon, what do you think? What do you think Brad Pitt is doing right now? Marlon? Teacher, sorry, but no llegamos hasta ahí. Oh, but, but <laughs> llegamos but, hasta las oraciones, no logramos. He okay. is sleeping. He is sleeping. Que yo dije. Yes, but invent, Marlon. What do you think he, Brad Pitt is doing? Oh. Sorry, what is the question? Yes, what do you think Brad Pitt is doing right now? Um, she thinks. Uh, what is the the new song create? Oh, he is thinking about the new song. Okay, he is thinking, yes. thinking. And what about Jennifer Lopez? What is she doing, Marlon, right now? <laughs> right now, watch me. <laughs> because <laughs> she is looking I, I like at me. like you. <laughs> <laughs> she likes me because she likes me. Uh, she likes me. <laughs> okay, Marlon. All right. So let's see. Hey, Giovanni, what do you think Mark Anthony is doing? Si no me equivoco, Mark Anthony sings very well salsa. Yeah. So what is he doing? What do you think Mark Anthony is doing? Me confundo. ¿Qué me está preguntando? Ahí me perdí. This moment. Yeah. Uh huh. What is he doing right now? What is Mark Anthony doing right now? I know. Yeah, he's thinking in the Jennifer. Huh? Okay, he's singing. All right, could be. He's thinking in Jennifer Lopez. Uh, he's thinking on Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Okay, could be. Right? <laughs> Jennifer Lopez for a second. Yes, could be. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are going to stop right here just because of the time. Okay. We are going to stop right here. Do you have any question before we go? No questions right now? Well, tomorrow we are going to continue with the, uh, the simple present continuous, but just some, I would say, exercises for you to practice. Okay. Then, guys, if you don't have any question, you may go ahead and go to sleep. The only person that please stay with me 
is Giovanni, okay? So today we have the feedback, Giovanni. Eh, Odalis. Odalis. Buenas noches, teacher. Yes, hi, Odalis. Buenas noches. Eh, pienso que comentarle de mi situación, ¿verdad? De no haberme podido conectar el, en las clases, dado que pues estoy en jornada laboral de sí. forma nocturna. Entonces, pues ando con los audífonos, ¿verdad? Escuchando las clases, pues eh, si yo no le contesto en algún momento es porque no puedo. Ok. Entonces, yeah. pero pues que no exista inconveniente, pero pues yo estoy escuchando la clase y poniendo atención y sí. pues realizaré todas las actividades pendientes que tenga. Ah, vaya, vale. perfecto. No se preocupe, Alice, ¿ok? Está bien. Bueno, vale. bueno, gracias. Okay. Bueno, a usted, cuídese. Ok, guys, so I'll see you back tomorrow. Ok, a los demás los vemos el día de mañana. Ok. Ok, good night. 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 <laughs> ok. So, Giovanni, let's see. All right. So, this is the time uh, where you can express all of what you want to express, right? So, este, este periodo es para que este espacio, ¿verdad? Que tenemos como feedback, Giovanni, es para que usted pueda, pues. Eh... Sorry. Sorry, no puedo salir. Ah, oh, don't worry. Ok, permítame. Ok. No pasa, sí me ayuda también, recibe. <laughs> ok, bye, recibe. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ok. Eh, mm, ok. Vale. Eh, bueno, en ese caso yo ni le estaba mencionando que ese espacio es para que tengamos un pequeño feedback y que usted me pueda expresar, ¿verdad? Cómo se ha sentido durante estas 11 clases que hemos tenido. Ya vamos por la mitad del, del módulo, ¿verdad? Ya casi vamos a terminar. Esa semana se va a ir súper rápido y ya la próxima es la última. Eh, quiero saber cómo se ha sentido, ¿verdad? Con las actividades, con los exámenes, con la dinámica de la clase, con sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Quiero saber si ya tenía un, un, uh, estudios previos, ¿verdad? Tal vez anteriormente cuando estaba tal vez en el colegio o estudió algún otro curso de idioma inglés, que me lo, me lo haga saber también, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, la verdad, bueno, buenas noches, gracias por estos 10 minutos o okay. el tiempo, la verdad que... Me considero una persona también muy versátil en adaptarme a eh, su método de, de trabajo. Uno se acostumbra a un método, pero eh, ya con, y la conociendo y todo eso, porque no aprendí, porque yo soy docente también. <ríe> Entonces, me gusta bastante el método de práctica. Por ejemplo, el de, el de listen, el de hacer los exámenes, esos intermedios. Me gusta bastante porque a veces me confundo, pero voy acomodando el oído, como dicen. Entonces, créame que si hay más de, de escuchar y de como el complementar, si me cuesta un poco más, uh -huh. eh, necesito como ese ya es más práctica de mi parte, porque yo sé que el material ahí está, usted lo ha colocado, no es que no nos haya explicado. Entonces, cuando usted dice si hay preguntas, le podría decir sí, pero no, porque ahí está el material, entonces es cuestión de práctica. Okay. Eh, la verdad me siento muy a gusto, me siento bien, solo que necesito como ir aprendiendo más palabras e irme acomodando al inglés. No he tenido prácticas anteriores en inglés hasta hoy que estoy escuchando, entiendo un poco más, eso sí. Por ejemplo, todo lo que se lee ahí, la pronunciación, este, he ido como aprendiendo y acomodándome. Sí. Hay cosas en que sí me trabo porque todo el día hablo español y de repente se me traba la lengua. Sí. Pero del contrario, sí me siento muy cómodo. No tendría nada que decir más que agradecerlo porque sí entiendo lo de la clase, solo que a veces me quedo como un poco corto. Quisiera como participar más, como hay las cuestiones de complemento o hacer las oraciones. Uh -huh. Y bueno, usted ya lo identificó, Carlos Amaya, Amanda. Yo estuve con ellos en el módulo 1 y, y saben bastante. Está Ives, si no me equivoco. Sí. Y pues se practica muy bien con ellos. Okay. Solo que a veces me cuesta con... Cuando he estado en otros grupos, no sé si pueden haber tres, porque cuando hay dos, eh, a veces hay otro que no cuesta que conteste. O sea, ya lo hace como un poquito más individual uno. Entonces, cuando ahí hay tres, quizás uno no contesta y, lo, y ya uno practica con el otro. Okay. Porque yo no sé que no sé mucho inglés y probablemente la otra persona sí sabe, pero por eso quizás no mucho contesta. Entonces, ahí ando ya me quedo callado. Ok, ok, ok. 
All right, perfect. Ok. Eh, muy bien. Vale, en este caso, pues sí, eh, en realidad creo que vamos a hacer eso de poner quizás a tres o a cuatro en los salones, porque a veces cabal, como usted menciona, ¿verdad? hay uno que sí contesta y el otro tal vez no contesta, o sí van a las salas, pero nunca hablan, ¿verdad? Y se right. quedan ahí callados. Entonces vamos a intentar, pues, bueno, el día de ahora, en la última práctica que tuvimos, los puse como en cuatro o cinco. Cuatro o cinco, ajá. Ah, entonces lo hice de esa manera porque sé que algunos, pues, no, no podían estar practicando, ¿verdad? Entonces creo que de esa manera vamos a evitar que tal vez eh, no, no pueda practicar como lo suficiente, ¿verdad? Porque en realidad, el, o sea, el, el propósito en realidad de, de mandarlos a los salones es que ustedes practiquen, pues, Correcto. Porque no todo es teoría, ¿verdad? Más que todo es práctica. Entonces, en este caso, eh, sí, eh, tal vez invitarle a que eh, en su tiempo libre o incluso cuando está tal vez en su trabajo y tiene la oportunidad de estar escuchando algo, trate de buscar audios que le sean útiles a usted, ¿verdad? Que no sean tan avanzados, pero que tampoco sean tan básicos, porque hay cosas de que tal vez usted ya la sabe y que se ve acostumbrando su oído. Correcto. Entonces, básicamente, los listenings que nosotros hacemos es para eso, ¿verdad? Para que usted vaya como viendo que también hay otro tipo de acento, que otra persona habla diferente, que también va a escuchar a, a, a niños hablando, va a escuchar a personas mayores, ¿verdad? Etcétera. Entonces, ese es el propósito de todas las prácticas. Y bueno, que me alegro que, este, que lo vea bien, ¿verdad? Que vaya usted como viendo eso que está aprendiendo en ese sentido. Sí. Eh, ahora, ¿tiene alguna pregunta con algún tema en específico que usted me diga, teacher, yo a eso no le comprendo en ese momento? O de lo que hemos visto, eh, algo que a usted no le haya quedado claro, Giovanni. Cuando se hacen las oraciones, por ejemplo. Ok. Entonces, eh, uh -huh. probablemente el, cuando colocan el head, has, here, eh, entonces a veces me tiendo a confundir porque no he visto como la cuando habla de dos personas de ella, de él entonces uh -huh. eso no me lo ha aprendido aunque yo sé que ahí está pero no lo he captado todavía como aunque no es nada difícil en el examen que puso me equivoqué porque no vi que decía allí arriba yo dije ay es miss entonces la regué dije. ok como la sustitución verdad de un pronombre sí. con, con un nombre o con otra cosa que no sea un pronombre en sí ¿verdad? correcto eso sí. eso tiende fíjense de que eso es súper como entendible porque al principio nos enseñan únicamente con pronombres verdad I you we they he she and it pero cuando ya vamos sustituyendo como nombres o Mr Mrs y, y así es como que y aquí como es verdad pero, eh, qué bueno que me lo menciona porque creo que hay que hacer más prácticas de eso, porque tan, tal vez otras personas y otros estudiantes tengan las mismas como dudas que usted tiene, ¿verdad? Entonces, en ese caso, eh, mire, básicamente, pues, lo que tenemos que hacer en ese tipo como de ejercicios es eso, sustituir. Pero usted tiene que estar concentrado, ¿verdad? Y saber de que, en este caso, si dice mis, como usted mismo me lo mencionó, entonces, en ese caso, usted tiene que decir, ok, son mis, es una ella, ¿verdad? Es un she. Sí. Entonces Correcto. empieza como a hacer ese, esa interpretación de todas las cosas, pero en su mente, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando tenga dos pronombres, es decir, si tiene Mrs. Lee en Mr. Lee, entonces esos son dos, ¿verdad? Ya son they. Entonces, eh, ese, ese como ese cambio, eh, no es difícil hacerlo, pero sí es de práctica, por supuesto. Todo es de práctica, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, lo que yo le puedo aconsejar en eso es de que vamos a hacer más prácticas así en la clase para que vaya adaptándose ¿verdad? y lo vaya como eh, comprendiendo un poquito mejor. Y pues tal vez que usted pues, se ponga a hacer ejercicios usted solito, ¿verdad? Eh, ponga uh -huh. a hacer ejercicios con el uh, simple present, ¿verdad? Con el presente simple, ¿verdad? Con el verbo to be, con el presente continuo, con lo que vayamos viendo y vaya haciendo como, no es necesario que haga un montón de oraciones, con cinco oraciones que haga usted y vaya viendo que okay, aquí, eh, aquí quiero decir tal cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces usted va poniéndolo y ponga una positiva, una negativa y una pregunta para que usted se vaya memorizando las estructuras, porque recuerde que la estructura siempre va a ser igual, sujeto, eh, auxiliar, verbo y complemento. Sí, entonces una oración no puede estar sin sujeto. La oración tiene que llevar un sujeto. Entonces, y el sujeto siempre va a ir, cuando es oración, al principio. ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, en ese caso, usted vaya haciendo como su lista de los tiempos verbales 
y vaya haciendo una oración por cada tiempo verbal, ¿verdad? Sí, positiva, negativa y pregunta. Le va a ayudar bastante. Y así se va a aprender también los tiempos verbales, los tiempos. porque los tiempos cuestan al principio. Pero usted lo que tiene que hacer es hacer un cuadro cabal en una hoja de papel bon y pone cuatro cuadritos y hace eh, verbo to be, presente simple, presente continuo, lo que usted ha visto, ¿verdad? Y va poniendo okay. los ejemplos. Y yo creo que así le va a ayudar súper, bastante, créanme, porque esa okay. es una técnica muy, pero muy buena. Eh, ¿Qué otra cosa? Pues le puedo recomendar que eh, en esa página, yo lo voy a mandar en ese momento, en esta página que, eh, quiero ver si está aquí, si se las he puesto, si aquí está. Vaya, en esta página que, que le voy a mandar, hay un montón de listenings, pero bastante, bastante como audios. Entonces, en esta sí. página, lo que usted va a hacer en su tiempo libre, un fin de semana, ¿verdad? Eh, un día que tenga libre, ¿verdad? Unos 20, media hora. Entonces, sí. aquí, lo que usted puede ver, fíjese bien, en esta página le dan como los, los niveles. Fíjese, está el easy, está sí. el fácil, intermedio, difícil, entrevistas. Eh, hay también... Eh, eh, como audios sí. académicos, ajá. Hay también como eh, juegos. Fíjese que si a usted le cuesta lo que usted me dice, ¿verdad? Aquí en esos de Language Games, fíjese bien, aquí, a day at school, fíjese. Aquí le dan juegos para que usted venga y repase ese tipo de vocabularios. Lo que usted debe de hacer es dar clic aquí y usted va aprendiendo, haciendo las cosas. Entonces, eh, también... Eh, lo, eh, los exámenes de vocabulario eso es súper mm. así súper pero eh, eh, voy a decirle esencial y es muy uh, friendly, bien amigable eh, por ejemplo aquí usted ve y dice gut feeling entonces a usted lo que le cuesta es como ir rellenando entonces Correct. lo que usted puede ir haciendo es eso mire empieza con estos audios ¿ve? y empieza como escuchando, le da play hello, today I'm interviewing Josh y empieza, y qué dijo, ¿verdad? Y usted trata de agarrar lo que dijo, y si, pues no, eh, mire, le dan como una... Ah, para complementar, un inicio y uno complementa. Exacto, usted complementa, entonces va y así va aprendiendo vocabulario, también ah. va a ir aprendiendo el pensamiento crítico, ¿verdad? Y también como ese pensamiento de que a veces nos ayuda como a, a adivinar básicamente lo que lo que está diciendo, entonces esa página es muy pero muy buena, yo la verdad que se la recomiendo que, que la vea cuando tenga su tiempo libre, de igual manera si lo que quiere es usted como escuchar un poquito más de, de cosas, verdad, como de listening, de audios, de diferentes eh, escenarios mire aquí hay bastantes, mire hay de fiestas hay de mensajes, hay de physical therapy ah. Ah, hay de reading books, hay de lentes, rocks and medication, mire, hay de todo lo que usted, snack time, social media, entonces usted solo viene, le da clic ahí donde el tema que a usted le gusta, que le parece interesante, y aquí les está el audio, mire, está el audio y usted va a empezar a escuchar y puede empezar a resolver los exámenes. Ah. Sí. Pero si usted lo que quiere también es escuchar, ¿verdad? Y leer, sí. mira hasta ah, abajo, okay. te voy a ir hasta abajo donde dice See Listening Script. Entonces aquí le va a dar clic y aquí le va a aparecer todo lo que dicen en el audio. Todo, 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 todo. Hasta le aparece el vocabulario que utilizan. Correcto. Entonces eh, aquí va a aprender bastante vocabulario, bastante. Uy, ahí es para, ahí solo para matarse solito. ¿no? O sea, no hay, con ese no hay excusa. Sí, con eso, fíjese de que aquí le da todo. O sea, aquí es que usted le dedique tiempo. Eso sí, es que usted le dedique tiempo. Pero créame que si usted le dedica al menos unos 15 minutos que, que resuelva un audio diario, va a mejorar muchísimo. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, todo es cuestión de disciplina y es que usted de verdad, pues, a conciencia diga, ok, este, este mes voy a dedicar todos los días. Este mes sí, voy a poner las pilas. Entonces, usted tiene que hacer su, como su schedule, ¿verdad? su horario y todo para que pueda empezar a mejorar un poquito más, porque en realidad usted participa bastante. Usted participa, a pesar que usted me diga, yo a veces quiero participar más, sí participa, ok, participa. Entonces, tal vez lo que le hace falta es como lanzarse. Aunque usted, diga, no, aunque usted diga, hey, no estoy segura, ¿verdad? Ni nada, entonces, pero así, 
ok, y, y levante la mano siempre que pida participación, ¿verdad? Usted siempre, eh, teacher yo, teacher aquí, ¿verdad? Para sí. que usted pueda participar más. Ok, solo una pregunta, con el, lo que usted nos envió del enlace sobre lo que está en Excel, que es, es algo que cuando el módulo finalice, podemos ingresar todavía a eso. Fíjense de que como eso es algo que les he creado, eso es muy pues mío, entonces yo eso Ajá. no le quito acceso. Pero la plataforma en sí de Insafor, sí, a esa plataforma sí ya no, ¿verdad? Pero el link que yo les mandé, eh, no, ustedes van a tener acceso, yo lo voy a dejar ahí para que ustedes puedan re revisar todas las clases. Porque yo lo que hago es guardar las clases y ahí solo pues como está el enlace para ir a YouTube, que son los videos que usted graba. Entonces, para tener como acceso, por si no he guardado alguna clase, yo la guardo y, y repasarla. Ah, no, ustedes van a tener acceso. Yo siempre lo dejo como abierto. No lo, no le, no lo cierro, no lo hago privado. No lo cierro. No. Ah, ok. Eso, eso nada más. Y pues, gracias. Me hablaron de, del inglés corporativo el viernes. Ok. O el sábado, creo. Ya ni recuerdo. El sábado me hablaron. Ok. ¿Qué, qué me había pasado? Porque no entré el viernes. Si había algún problema, yo no, yo, problema solo mío, le digo, porque como venía de San Salvador para Santa Ana y se me cortaba a veces y venía, la verdad venía cansado y yo digo, ni me estoy concentrando, dije, ni estoy participando sí. y ya, la verdad, y yo le dije que era, me habían preguntado si había algo, había pasado algo, yo le digo, no, con la teacher todo bien, conmigo si sí hay problemas, le digo, pero con la teacher no le Okay, yeah. Pero sí, me sorprendió porque sábado me hablaron y yo, uy, ¿qué pasó? Dije, me van a cobrar la clase. No, <risa> Giovanni. Ok, no. No, la verdad que ellos hacen como eso de rutina, ¿verdad? Como un sondeo. Y cuando no se conectan uh -huh. siempre les llaman. Ah, ok, quizás porque no había pasado, no me había pasado hasta hoy que... Exacto, quizás algo... Ajá. Me sorprendió. Sí, pero no, Giovanni. Entonces, en este caso, pues, qué melero que se sienta bien con las clases y con la dinámica que estamos teniendo, ¿verdad? Eso es muy sí. bueno. Y, pues, eh, vamos a seguir implementando todo lo que, pues, tenemos que implementar más que todo para que ustedes también vayan mejorando, porque el propósito es que ustedes mejoren, ¿verdad? Sí, Entonces, gracias. Eh, sí, así que vamos a tomar bastante en cuenta lo que usted me ha dicho. Y, bueno, no sé si tiene algo más que agregar. No, Ticha, todo bien. Right. Ok, entonces, I'll see you back tomorrow. Descanse. Okay. Gracias, igual. All right, good, good night. night. Good night.